Are you wondering how to create an interesting patterns in Adobe Illustrator? Or if you are a digital artist, you want to create a wallpaper or a digital art that can be done quickly? This is the video for you. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a trick to create a hexagonal randomized parametric pattern with an example of how you can do it on an image. This is so cool and I will guarantee you, you are going to learn something interesting from this video. Let's begin. Okay, now this is the area where we will put some interesting parametric pattern. Okay, let's go ahead and create an hexagon. Let's leave the radius as 8mm and size 6. Let's actually switch off the fill and now let's rotate it at 60 degree. Okay, now let's connect all these points. Basically, it will form six triangles, each one of them at 60 degrees. Okay. Select all of them. Give it a stroke, maybe two points. Okay. Now select it, group it. Now bring it here. Now copy and paste in place. You can go and edit, paste in place. Okay, move it up. Let's give 8 points, maybe more. Let's give uh, 10. Okay, select both of them. Go to object, blend, blending options. Now select the distance option and leave it as 8mm because we selected 8mm as a radius. And now again go to object, blend, blend. I think this is, this is good. Now select this, go to effect, distort and transform, transform. Okay, now let's give 8 copies probably, preview it and give uh, 10 mm distance. Now this is not enough, maybe 15 or probably 14. Yes, I think it is good. Now select and uh, go to object, expand appear. Now right click and ungroup. Ungroup it few times. Ungroup. Okay, now again go to object expand. Now you expand it one more time. Okay. Now select one of them. Go to object, same and appearance. It will select everything. Now go to path and merge all of them okay so now it's merged now go to object one more time and expand it okay now select them right click and release the clipping path now select the big one delete that's it so now select all of them and scale it to the point where it fits in it's nice move it aside up a little bit this is nice maybe change the color a little bit just to match with the entire image slightly I think good this is good now you can actually go ahead and play with the layer you can just multiply it and give it a opacity just a little bit play with it this is good we can create so many patterns out of this now let's try to put one big polygon okay this much Let me copy this. Okay. Now select both the patterns and make a clipping mask. See? Amazing. Now you paste the other one and give it a stroke. Give it a very mild stroke. So you can create so many things out of this. Maybe play with some 
opacity maybe play with the stroke see it's amazing play with it let's create another one okay select this go to object envelope distort make with mesh now this gives you select the alternative rows okay, just slightly push it up see amazing and do the other other direction as well select the alternative rows slight push see it's up to you i mean we can play so many things okay that's it for now i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching